Hi, and welcome to Cockatude, Cockatoos with Attitude, and Friends. Today we're going to talk about the so-called natural food phenomena, something you want to stay away from. Yeah, you do, and more in just a bit. Science knowledge only adds to the excitement, the mystery, and the awe of a flower. Evidence is evidence. It's public. Everybody can look at the evidence and assess it, and eventually, if there's enough evidence, come to the same conclusion. <laughs> the Chloe Sanctuary for Parrots and Cockatoos, a non-profit charity dedicated to the empowerment of captive parrots and public awareness. All right, you guys, what are you doing back there? We got the big salamander bird and Babalu preening Orlai. Yeah. What's happening over there? What's happening over there? Huh? Well, what's the problem with so-called natural food? All right. Let me give an example. I've got something for you, okay? It's something you're really going to like. It's all natural. It's filled with oat fiber. It's fresh from the farm. There's no preservatives of any kind. All right? And you can get it steaming from the farm. And I'll tell you how to do it. Just walk behind a horse, and <laughs> in a short amount of time, you'll have plenty of this. So just because something says it's all natural doesn't mean it's good. There's plenty of things like lobelia root, for example. If you take enough of that, it will kill you, but it's perfectly all natural. You will hear a lot of people say how they'll give something to their birds that is supposed to help them with problems. Um, you know, if they got liver problems, they can take this. Or if they have, you know, this problem, they can take that. And all natural over-the-counter items. Well, here's one example. The Attorney General of New York took three major manufacturers of these so-called natural foods to court because inside these capsules, which are not checked by the FDA, that's the problem with the so-called natural foods, there's nobody watching over them, right? He took them to court because in some cases, the items they said that they had in them weren't even in there. Uh, in other cases, there were things inside there that weren't on the label. And one of them, uh, I noted myself, was asparagus root that was in one of these concoctions that's supposed to be all natural. Asparagus root is poisonous to birds. Not only don't you know what's actually in the capsule, Okay, when you're taking something, let's say white willow bark. Now, white willow bark is the, the actual plant from which we originally derived aspirin. We learned that from the Native Americans, okay? And we derived aspirin from this. The problem with taking white willow bark by itself is, well, you don't know how strong it's going to be. Each tree is going to produce more or less of the item you're looking for. So even if you were to get pure white willow bark, that's not going to be a way, there's no way that you can possibly dose it properly. So there's no way to tell what kind of dose that you're going to get. And in the pills, the things that you, a <laughs> nice going cause, and it the pills or capsules you can get at your local whatever health food store, uh, you have no clue how strong they're going to be um, or what's in them. You don't even know if the item you're asking for is actually in there. Would you rather pay for something that's gone through extensive testing in order to get put on the market that's approved by at least a regulatory agency that is, is supposed to be there for your health, or would you rather somebody who's trying to make money on you threw something together in a capsule and put a label on it 
saying, this does this, this, and this, but of course we are only saying that we don't really know. The FDA hasn't approved it. I have also seen quite a few people on the internet uh, and Facebook and other places talking about natural things you can do to cure your bird if it has something like diarrhea or well the the problem is most people don't even know the difference between diarrhea and a failure of the liver that's causing a renal shunt to get into play and what that does is it causes a lot of urine to come out because the actual liver isn't working anymore and the kidneys are getting all that stuff directly so when you got a problem you need to check with your avian vet but also beware, some avian vets will pimp some of these things that don't work too, okay? They'll say, maybe you should use this item that you can get over the counter uh, when it's not approved by the FDA. And it's not like I think the FDA is the greatest organization in the world. It's not, but it's better than the alternative, which is untested, untried, thrown into capsules by people who are trying to make money, and they make tons, okay, because it's unregulated. Now, these kind of bad leads aren't just available from vets, not just for our birds. Uh, I just recently had a doctor at the VA tell me that I should use something over the counter rather than uh, something that was specifically targeting a problem I have that's from the medical industry. And of course, I chose the medical version. Um, I don't buy into the natural foods thing. So what do I do? Well, of course, I have the Basaba Manual for Citizen Birds. I use that as a reference. Uh, of course, I'm going to get a vet's opinion on anything that I don't already know exactly what the problem is. For example, with a broken blood feather, you know what you're dealing with. If you've got a cut on a foot, you know what you're dealing with. If it's, if it's a minor thing... But if you've got something that goes beyond the basic first aid... Uh, that's necessary for little things um, and you don't actually know the situation, you should get an avian vet's opinion or maybe two. Now, ex another example of this natural thing is that people will say, I like to buy local produce. I don't. I don't like to buy local produce. Actually, I buy produce at Costco, both frozen and you know, refrigerated. Because if there's a problem, I will get a text, I will get an email, and I will get a robocall telling me, bring it back, this is not safe. I'm not going to get that from other grocery stores. Um, and especially if I'm buying local, uh, those people aren't going to tell me. So I'm more interested in knowing if there's a problem, since there have been a lot of issues with salmonella, botulism, listeria. Um, for example, I'm no longer using romaine lettuce. I mean, it's had E. coli now so many times that eh, there's no point in it. Uh, the last time I actually went to buy uh, romaine lettuce, they had taken it off the shelves at Costco. So, uh, and where I would like to buy local, I just don't trust their growing techniques, what they put in the soil, whatever it is they use to grow the stuff that could possibly cause problems. For example, if you have a farm that's too close to a dairy farm or a place where steers are raised, then you're gonna get all that bovine stuff in the ground, and if it rains, it's gonna be spread. And when it spreads to the uh, fields where romaine and, and lettuce and other things are grown, then it can pass on uh, nasty diseases, and uh, mostly these diseases that come from harboring animals in large quantities on farms. And as a last note, uh, most of the diseases that our birds actually suffer from are due to these farms where these bovines are being kept. Uh, they're born of viruses. They're things that come from being around steer, okay? So I'm not real fond of that stuff. So I don't tell you to buy local. I don't tell you to buy natural. Uh, you want to buy the best quality that you can and from someone who's going to actually keep you informed whether that stuff is safe. That's why I use Costco. Um, so don't buy into this uh, all-natural thing, okay? It's not going to help you out in the long run. And a lot of people are doing that. That's, that's like people who used to go to witch doctors. I mean, you can go to a witch doctor, right? 
you can go to a witch doctor and have them dance around and you know put on war paint or whatever and uh, that's not going to solve anything um, it may make you feel better it may even cause a placebo effect where we say oh that worked just because when two things happen close to each other we often tend to connect them when they're not even connected at all so be skeptical and that doesn't mean that you know turn your eyes away from everything be skeptical think before you buy get the best you can for your birds check with your avian vet uh, buy from a source where you know they're going to tell you if listeria or botulism or salmonella has been found in the food and keep your birds safe and you can do that by avoiding the all-natural label thanks again Thank you very much, our supporters, and thank you those who actually send us checks, those who donate online, those who are our patrons on patreon.com slash Chloe Sanctuary, who donate a dollar or more on every video that we do, the first two, I should say, not every video. We're doing a lot of little ones now, but we only charge for the first two that we do. So thanks again for all your support. Again, you can support us at www.patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Chloe Sanctuary. You can go out to our website for a link to that or just to donate. Appreciate it very much. You guys take care. I'm going to hang out here on a little chilly for me day here in San Diego County. A couple of clouds in the sky. They're kind of rare. But uh, we're going to hang out now, aren't we guys? You're going to have all my intention instead of me talking into this silly little phone, right? Yes, Peaches, I'm coming. Thanks again for watching.